Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Scorpio for the second half of January. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through for you. We're going to use different decks. Keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every Scorpio out there, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around and let's find out what's going on. Scorpio, second half of January, what's happening with my Scorpios? We have a thinking woman, we have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and we have action, interesting. Well, let's find out what this is all about. Um, thinking woman, let's clarify. I see you uh, being uh, quiet in your head. There's a lot that you have to consider at this time. I feel like some of you are very, very busy at work. You're juggling a lot of responsibilities. I feel like uh, you you just uh, working with a lot of people. It feels like it takes a lot of strength. It almost feels to me like it's um, uh, very heavy on your energy. But I feel like that uh, you also want to explore other things in your life. Some of you want to uh, study something new. I feel like some of you want to learn something new here. And some of you just want to have a different work environment. I see you wanting to move somewhere else, move to a job that is a little bit more calm, move to a job that is a little bit more or I don't want to say easier, but just uh, not as uh, high pressure, not as demanding. That's what I see here. There's a lot on your mind. There's a lot on your mind. I feel like you're looking for a balance in your life between work and home life. And again, like I said, some of you want to learn something new as well. So I feel like you're trying to uh, go away from this energy of being, uh, you know, at work 24 seven, just pulling through. You want to make sure that your work doesn't take up all your time and you still have some time left for yourself, for your self development for whatever things you want to uh, explore and uh, something new some uh, to learn something new here as well i feel this is what are you thinking some of you are definitely considering to change a uh, change of the job that's what i see and if that's the case for you you will have options you will have more than one option to choose from fifth chakra archangel gabriel for those of you who are meditating, uh, I do feel calling up uh, upon Archangel Gabriel is going to be beneficial for you. Uh, this is your throat chakra. This is communication. This is you speaking up. Speaking up about something that is unfair in your financial world. I see uh, you needing to speak up uh, uh, and talk to your manager, uh, talk to your boss, talk to your business partner, whoever that is for you. I feel like uh, your finances, um, are, you're not being compensated fairly for the amount of work that you do. This is what I see here. And there is a need to speak up. There is a need to talk. And I feel like the conversation will actually be very fruitful for you. I do feel that you're going to gain some sort of increase. It feels to me, like I said, that uh, you're not uh, getting paid um, as much as you should be. It's not equal give and take. The amount of time and work and effort and amount of uh, experience that you have in the job that you do does not correspond to what they pay you. That's what I'm getting here uh, very, very strongly. But I do feel that uh, um, whoever makes the decision when it comes to your pay, like your su supervisor, your manager, your boss, like I said, maybe business partner here, um, I'm, I'm getting more of a boss energy here. I feel like they're very much open to this conversation. And I feel like once you speak up, they will actually take it in a very much positive way. And there will be a positive outcome here. I feel like this person will give you what you deserve. And I do feel that you just need to speak up. This is going to be a positive conversation. They will take it in a very good way and they will help you out. That's what I see. For those of you who are thinking that, you, uh, who are considering to ask for a pay raise at this time, it's a very good time for you to do so. Action. Let's see what is that all about. Judgment. Knight of Swords. King of Cups, Queen of Swords, 
nine of swords and five of cups interesting what i what i see here is um that some of you um scorpios have been dealing with the air sign now this could have been somebody from your past this could have been somebody who walked away in the past this person can come across a little bit cold maybe even selfish that's something that's coming through but in reality they just uh, they are actually uh, quite emotional and they do have love for you i feel like this person walked away but they are they've been thinking about you day and night this is what i feel here i feel like this person has regrets uh, i think they uh, i feel like this person has regrets about what they've done what happened about walking away here and they want to move forward towards you this action i feel like this is something that is not necessarily your action but rather somebody taking action towards you you're sitting calm here you sitting in your power and this person is moving towards you judgment in this particular message here is reconciliation this person wants to come back for reconciliation that's what i feel strongly like i said they're looking at what happened in the past maybe what they've done in the past here or how they acted what they didn't do and they have regrets now they want to take action and move towards you that's what i feel here if they walked away in the past or if they just uh, you know, were a little bit too, too defensive, too cold, too detached. I feel like they want to come back and they want to reconcile with you and act completely differently. That's what I see. The choice will be yours though. You're the one wearing the crown here. All right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to pull some other cards for you though. We're going to now go to the coffee cup oracle and see what comes up for you in this deck. Look at that, we have opportunities and home with that gate energy. Nice, coins are coming in with luck and money. justice and documents there is definitely more opportunities coming towards you making money uh, i see new contracts being signed this could be new contracts for some sort of um, um, money um, grant i get that if you are starting something on your own here i also get an energy of uh, possible promotion here and signing contracts for a new uh, position with a very good pay raise here i do get that we get again this energy of uh, knight of wands and king of wands there is a very significant fire person around you but also getting this as an energy of some sort of boss some sort of manager that is coming towards you or that is there for you <coughs> and who's going to open up the doors for you for the new opportunities with the star again I, you're being seen i see this energy as you being seen i see this as uh, you shining very bright at work here and i do feel that um you are getting into more opportunities and there is more money to be made here with this hangman um i feel like um you could have been in a position for a while or you just didn't take many actions you didn't take many actions you didn't put yourself forward you didn't put yourself forward for promotion you didn't put yourself forward you didn't speak up about any sort of uh, money increase or something like that and i feel like you're changing that i feel like you're changing that or you need to change that because i feel like the people will actually take you in a very positive way and there will be new opportunities open up for you and there will be new documents signed and it all comes with more finances and I do feel a very positive energy of like a manager, a boss who's very supportive of you, who sees your work and who will be very much open to giving you new opportunities here. That's what I see. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to now use skip attack. Let's find out what else is happening for Scorpio in the second half of January. Wow, look at that. We have courthouse coming out. Interesting. What is that all about? High owners and a house. Okay. Let me just uh, pull a few tarot cards on this. No, oh, it's just that one. Okay.
Hmm. Look at that. Justice in reverse, two of cups in reverse, knight of wands in reverse here. And ten of cups upright. Interesting. Um, some of you definitely could be uh, dealing with some sort of uh, law, uh, with some. Uh, um, legal matter especially around the home around house here i do feel that uh, some of you could be going through a separation and um, there seems to be um, a divorce energy here could be with the libra could be with the fire sign uh, and if that's your case i do feel that there could be some delays with separating the material assets assets in this divorce um, with the Ten of Cups, I do feel the outcome is going to be happy for you. And I do feel that it's going to be actually a very... Um uh, it's going to be the outcome is going to be good for both of you like uh, for for both people involved here i feel like if I, um, uh, eventually you will be able to come to some sort of solution that will work for all especially for those of you uh, where there is children involved in this situation i feel like you will be able to come up with a solution that will work for children as well there could be a situation here where you both are um, trying to you know come up with a solution that does not necessarily, um, that doesn't negatively impact the children or the home in general. You're both very honorable. I do get this energy of being genuinely um, interested in positive outcome for all. There could be, like I said, some sort of uh, delays. I feel like this process could take a little bit longer than you expected here. And yes, for, uh, for a lot of you, this is either Aries or Leo or Sagittarius that you are separating from. But like I said, I feel like the outcome is going to be very good for all of you. I do feel that this separation is something that is already in process. You're already going through the legal matters. So this is not like a I'm telling you you're going to get divorced and this is a surprise to you. No, no, no. I feel like this is something you've already been going through and it is for the better for all the people involved in this situation. This is what I see. These are the messages I have for you today, Scorpio. I truly hope this reading was helpful and thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you like this reading, please do press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I do hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now, Scorpio.